guys welcome back to my channel today I have a video all about basics the basics are something that we probably already have in our wardrobe but are they what you need do they go within your theme are they versatile enough are they good quality enough are they exactly what you want I'm gonna go through a couple of basics that I found recently that I can see staying in my wardrobe for a really really long time but I just want to quickly say thank you so much for all of your positive feedback on my like I don't know style series I have completely revamp my wardrobe the last couple of months and it has helped me feel so much more confident in the way that I dress and how I present myself to get back into the world. <laughs> I used to be the person that had a wardrobe full of clothes and nothing to wear and now I've turned into someone with endless options because of the way that I've chosen to style my wardrobe and, and the fact that I chose an aesthetic to go with and it is really really easy so I want you guys to have that as well because I know going through body changes is a really hard thing. It can be hard to find the confidence in your new body and in your new lifestyle for whatever reason things do change and things change as you get older as well. The first thing that I want to talk about is basic tees. I feel like I've always struggled to find the perfect white basic tee and I'm still on the hunt for it but I found these amazing t-shirts. These are from Target. They're in the Danny Minogue section, the petite section. The screen is going to go weird if I hold them up but I have this gorgeous cream and then this gorgeous light pink. The fit on them is amazing. The sleeve length is beautiful and they are this ribbed material which is like a patterned ribbed material. They're a normal crew neck so they're not like a v-neck or anything like that. They're just like a really great basic and I'm pretty sure that they're only like $20. I got I think the pink one on sale for $14 and they come in these two colors and a black and I think a chocolate brown as well. The material is so nice and thick and it's not see-through. Like I mean I wear a nude bra underneath it but can highly recommend these. They're a great place to start for a basic tee. This one might not be for all of you but it's definitely something that I have been on the lookout for years and I haven't really found what I wanted until this year. Long sleeve basic cropped tees. These are from Dotty and they are usually two for $40. They are a cropped length and they come in a few various styles. So this is a Henley style. And then this one is like a button up style. A lot of beautiful neutral colors in this season, which are just perfect. But of course you can just go for the black or white. I have them in so many colors and styles. There is even a turtleneck style as well but these are great for layering you can wear them with like high-waisted skirts high-waisted jeans you could wear them over a dress like with a pinafore or overalls there's so many different uses for these and the material is great they wash up great and they're a great price as well okay so the next one is going to be no surprise but i'm going to talk about knits whether you like it or not, they're basic. <laughs> um, for me, I love a good cropped knit that I can style with either a dress or jeans, skirts, I just love them and as the weather gets cooler like I need the warmth of a knit. So some favorites which I already showed this one but this one is from Dotty. It's one of those chenille knits so it is super super soft. I feel like the threads don't pull as easy as they do on compared to something like this one. I'll do a close up and show you the threads. This one is definitely a staple in my wardrobe. I only just recently got this, but I have it in like a coral color and it's beautiful. I love the length, the style and everything. And I just, ugh, it goes with everything. It's white. It's a knit. It looks amazing. <laughs> also, Big W have some really great knits at the moment. Um, this one was only $25. It's another cropped knit in a beautiful chocolate kind of color. I think it's called dark purple, but it's definitely like a chocolate color. So here's some really great options. Dotty, like everywhere has some really beautiful knits at the moment. You just have to find ones that work for you. And Dotty quite often have like 40% off knits or 30% off. So definitely take advantage of their sales. Okay, I wanna talk about the dreaded jeans. I understand that some of you guys have listened to what I've said and are planning to try on different styles apart from your skinny jeans. My advice is get out of the skinny jeans because they're so uncomfortable and well like I mean it depends on your body shape but for me with my mum tongue they don't they look shit on me like they really do they just accentuate that area I haven't been able to try on any skinny jeans with buttons at the front I haven't found them yet in my size in stock anywhere but 
try a different style. Go into a store and try and different styles like a straight leg or a wide leg. Just try them on and see how they look and you will like most likely come around to them because I just thought, oh my God, like I can't wear those styles. They look shit on me. I'm too old for it. But when I started trying them on and seeing how they could be styled, I fell in love. So I have a new favorite pair of jeans recently. These are from Target. They are a paper bag style pair of jeans. They're from their Lily Love section. They're normally $35, but they come up, they're super high-waisted. Some of the jeans that I try on, they say that they're high-waisted, but they like don't even reach my belly button. These ones definitely come up over my belly button. They have an elastic waist, what? <laughs> and they're not tight. They are just so, so comfortable. And I am, I'm only five foot two. So usually jeans <laughs> and the length, unless they're like ankle biter cropped ones, <laughs> they don't match up for my leg length um so i can quite comfortably roll these ones up to suit if i'm wearing um like boots or if i'm wearing slides i can roll them down a bit i'm so happy that i found these jeans and i just want to share the love but also i did see some similar ones very very similar in kmart the other day i'm gonna talk about <laughs> the denim jacket okay we've, we've all got a denim jacket right i didn't realize this but for ages, I was trying on a denim jacket and I'm like, why does this just not look good? Why do why do I look so dated when I wear this denim jacket? And it wasn't this one, it was a different one. And then I watched a TikTok about how to make something that a millennial wears so make it like to fit in today's trends. And one of the things was about the denim jacket. So they showed a photo of someone wearing a denim jacket and it just looked dated. And then she showed the outfit like in today's trends and she started with like an oversized denim jacket and it looked so much better. So I've had this denim jacket from Kmart for I feel like a few years but they still have it in stock. It's actually so much more trendy than my little cropped denim jackets that I just feel like they're so dated now. So try and switch out your denim jacket for an oversized ones. It doesn't work with every outfit but it definitely takes away like that dated look from your outfit. Um, it'll make it more, I don't want to say modern but more fresh if that makes sense. Go for an oversized denim jacket or a boyfriend style or um, denim jacket or something like that. It'll definitely freshen up your look. Okay, I'm not sure where you guys live in the world or Australia, but for me, I live in Victoria and it can get pretty cold here. Right now we have days, like I mean, today is actually 19 degrees, but throughout the week it was like 13 degrees, 11 degrees, it was already pretty cold for May. So for me, a staple in the cooler months is actually a vest. Now, this vest is actually from Target. It's a teddy vest, and I have been just trying to find like light-colored vests, and I can't find them anywhere, like especially anywhere for me to just go and try on and have a look at them. So when I saw this at Target, I jumped on it. This is the perfect layering piece. Not to mention that like a teddy, like anything teddy is like so on trend right now, but it can really just add a layer of warmth and a layer of texture to your outfit while looking cute. Like, I just, I love it. I used to be worried about things like this making me look too big, but now it's just like, I just feel like it, it adds just so much to the outfit and I'm so much warmer as well. <laughs> because sometimes you don't wanna wear that big jacket and a vest comes in handy. So whether it be this vest or a puffer vest, um, any kind of vest, I feel like it's definitely a basic you need in your wardrobe if you do live in a cooler climate um, and are approaching autumn and winter. Okay, so I mentioned like a few pants in my previous video of, you know, what I consider for like a mum uniform type thing. But if you're wanting to dress up a little bit, like I love wearing skirts, I love wearing dresses. So here is a skirt that I picked up just this week from Kmart and it's amazing. It's so cute and it's perfect for the cooler weather. Um, so this skirt was only $18. Most flattering thing about it is it has this flap over the front, which helps disguise a belly if you have one. And I feel like they're actually really generous with their sizing. Last year I got a size, I was, 
probably a bit bigger than what I am, but I got a size 18 skirt and I just felt like their skirts last year were a lot smaller than what they are this year. Whereas I probably could have got a 14 in this, but I just felt comfortable in a 16. Yeah, can highly recommend this skirt. It looks gorgeous. Um, it comes in, I think, a few different colours as well. You don't have to get this camel colour. Perfect for layering if you need to. You can pop on some long boots underneath or some tights. And yeah, like on me, it's basically like nearly full length. But again, I'm five foot two. <laughs> you can mix and match it with your knits and your long sleeve tops and your vest. And like there's so many different ways that you can wear a staple like this. So yeah, this is definitely a staple for me even though I only just got it. <laughs> so the last thing that I want to talk about right now is some dresses. Now, I feel like a staple in your wardrobe, if you live in a cooler climate, is a knit dress. So these two are both from Kmart. They're both $30. They're really cute. So this one here is a cream colored one with some cable detailing and it's so nice. Like it just adds that luxe to your outfit. Like. I don't know, I just feel like fancy when I wear it kind of thing. <laughs> and then this one, I just picked up this the other day with that skirt. Um, but this is definitely like a throw on and go kind of dress. I like to style it with a belt, but you don't have to. And it just, you, like I mean, I sized down for this one, I got a 14 in it. But you can just get your regular size and chuck on a belt or not. And it'll look cute, chuck on a jacket, chuck on a vest chuck on some boots. The other thing about this one is it's got balloon sleeves. Super, super cute. And these ones are basically like full length on me. But if you are worried about the length, you can always make it shorter with a belt and then just pulling some through the top of the belt. So then it just pulls up the hem of the dress. So yeah, they're definitely staples for me this season. Of course, there are so many other knit dresses you can get and you can just get one if you want. But I have like a few short ones and those long ones. And yeah, they're, they're so cute. So I feel like that gives you enough ideas on where to get some of these pieces from. And it shows you that you can affordably change items in your wardrobe. And these items, I feel like they're gonna be staples for me for years. If I keep up this aesthetic, I know it's something that I've loved forever and it's not just a now thing. Like some of them can be like more trendy pieces, but like, I mean, I've already had that denim jacket for a few years and now I'm figuring out like how to wear it properly. But if you missed my previous video, definitely go back because there's some good basics that I recommend there to get you started as well. Um, but honestly, like I love shops like Kmart, Big W and Target. And I find that some of the things from Kmart I have in my wardrobe, like they are staples for me, like this dress today. This is from Kmart and they are going to stay in my wardrobe for a long time because the quality is good and they look good and I just, they're styles that I actually really love and flatter my body. And I also want to say, just because it's a trend, you doesn't mean you have to dress like it. You don't have to jump on that trend if it doesn't suit your body shape, if you don't like it. But I know with some trends, I hate them at first and then I really warm up to them or I see how they're styled on different sized people rather than just models. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't realize that that could actually work for me. You know, then I can have the confidence to go and try it on and see, see how it works in my wardrobe. So here's your homework. I want you to think about what you have in your wardrobe and what basics you need. So when I talk about basics is like, if you were to put on a pair of jeans, what top are you gonna wear with them? Do you have a pair of jeans that you can wear no matter how you're feeling that day. If you're feeling bloated or if you feel frumpy, you can put on that pair of jeans and actually feel okay. I want you to think about your layering pieces, like whether it be your jackets or your vests, um, and make sure you have something that kind of like goes with everything. If there's something that you find you're not wearing, it's time to get rid of it. If it doesn't go with every like other things in your closet or you just, I know for me, there's so many things that I've bought that I love, but I just don't know how to wear them because they don't go with anything in my wardrobe. Or I'm like, oh, I'll wear it when I lose weight. No, no, no. Don't keep things to wear when you lose weight. Do not do it. <laughs> so just a reminder, the clothes are made to fit you and you're not made to fit in the clothes. So I know someone mentioned about the sizes to just disregard the sizes. Um, that's 100% advice because 
I bought two pairs of jeans from the Iconic this week, both size 16. One I could just get up, the other one, no. Nah. <laughs> and I know, like those pair of jeans that I just showed you, they're a size 14. Like I know quite comfortably, like I'm a 16. Um, I'm not an 18 in jeans, like I know that. Um, but it shouldn't matter but they didn't actually go up to an 18, so there you go. Um, <laughs> jeans are really, really complicated. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you with that. Don't forget your homework, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>